I became a landscape architect the day after I left school. <laughs> so I became a landscape architect because I didn't know what to do. And I went and saw my vocational counsellor at school and she said, do you like people? And I said, oh, yes. <laughs> do you like landscapes? So through a process of elimination, we, we thought that landscape architecture sounded like a good profession. I was attracted to it because I liked the outdoors. I was going to go into horticulture, actually. But I really liked landscapes, and I really liked the idea of um, being part of creating democratic spaces. To me, one of the great successes of Magramahi Family Playground and other public parks is that people can come here for free. They can enjoy a day out with friends, with family, benefit from the health and well-being values from being in that place and we can just be together side by side in the landscape and it doesn't cost it and it doesn't discriminate so that's that's I guess what drives me. Our role is very fundamental to creating um, and protecting and enhancing our important landscapes. The way that we um, perform our role as landscape architects is myriad and diverse. We may be involved, for instance, in protecting some of our outstanding natural landscapes from, for instance, uh, Fiordland is currently under enormous pressure from the effects of um, tourism and, and um, that's only going to become worse and it threatens those important intrinsic values that that place holds and so landscape architects are involved, in fact I'm involved in this project in um, looking at solutions for uh, managing those pressures and the impacts from tourism on our outstanding nat natural landscapes. And then at the other end of the spectrum we get involved in creating small civic spaces, bumping points, you know just beautifying small areas within cities, we're involved in um, managing the coastal landscape, so it's a very diverse profession.